So some of you have been reaching out and asking if we could make our dopamine calculation uh, Instagram post into a video so that you could follow along with the steps a little bit better. So that's what we're going to do today. So the question reads, you have been ordered to administer a dopamine infusion at 7 micrograms per kilogram per minute to a 186-pound patient. How many drips per minute will be needed to achieve this? You are using a micro drip set. So step number one in this problem is figuring out the concentration of the medication. So step number one is what is the concentration of the dopamine? Now, I have a picture with this that tells us what the concentration is. But in your program or on the National Registry, you're much more likely to just be given the information in the question that reads something like, your dopamine is supplied as 400 milligrams in 250 milliliters or 800 milligrams in 500 milliliters. And you will be expected to figure out what the concentration of that medication is just from that information. So we're going to act like this 1600 micrograms per ml information isn't given to us. So we have 400 milligrams of dopamine and 250 milliliters of volume. Well, the question is asking us to give a dose based on micrograms, not milligrams. So we need to convert milligrams to micrograms. To do that, we multiply by 1,000. 400 milligrams multiplied by 1,000 is 400,000 micrograms. So I have 400,000 micrograms of dopamine in 250 milliliters. Now I have to divide that out to figure out how many micrograms of dopamine I have in one milliliter. So 400,000 divided by 250, if you work that out, comes out to be 1,600 micrograms per ml. That is the concentration of our medication. Step two for this particular problem, we have to take the patient's weight in pounds and convert that to kilograms. So to do that, we would take 186 divided by 2.2, and we would find that that comes out to be 84.7. I'm sorry, 84.5. And we would round that up to 85 kilograms. Now, to divide by 2.2 is not necessarily the easiest thing to do in the back of a medic unit. So I'm going to show you another way that isn't as accurate as dividing by 2.2, but it'll get you pretty close. And to do that, we take 186 divided by 2, which equals 93, and then subtract 10%. So take 93 subtracted by 9.3, which equals 83.7. 83.7, if we round that up to 84 kilograms. So we are one kilogram off from our uh, the textbook way of dividing by 2.2, which gets us pretty close. But for the remainder of this problem, we would just look at the 85 kilos. So now we have to take all of the uh, information that we've gathered so far the drug dose uh, order, 7 micrograms, times the weight in kilos, which we just figured out, multiplied by 60. <clears throat> and that's going to be, because we are doing it per minute, we are multiplying by 60 seconds. We're going to divide that by our concentration, which is 1,600. So if we do that math problem, we come up with 7 times 85 times 60 divided by 1,600. We get 22.31 drops per minute will achieve my 7 micrograms per kilo 
per minute dosing that I was originally ordered from the doc. Now we can't give 0.31 of a drop, so we would just take that and round it down to 22 drops a minute. So that is the formula for dopamine. The dose that's ordered multiplied by the patient's weight and kilos multiplied by 60 divided by the drug's concentration. Now, the clock method for dopamine, I don't like it as much as, as getting a real definitive answer on the number of drops per minute that need to be given, but I do like it for checking my work to make sure that I, I'm at least in the area that I need to be. So we'll draw our clock. And I'm going to put my uh, micrograms on the outside. I'm going to put 1,600 at the top, 400, 800, 1,200. And on the inside, I'm going to put my drops, 60, 15, 30, 45. Now, from our formula, we said that we should be around 22 drops a minute to get to um, the dosing that we need. So 22, if I come down here to my drops, 22 should be, let's say we're about right here, okay, on our clock. So our number, the total amount of micrograms per minute that we should be given, should fall somewhere between 400 and 800. So we know 22 drops a minute is what we need, but now we're gonna figure out the actual amount of micrograms per minute we're given to this patient. To do that, we take our original order, which is seven micrograms, and we multiply it by the patient's weight, and that comes out to be 595 micrograms. 595 is between my 400 and my 800 on my clock, lines up with my 22 drops a minute. So that tells me that my math from the formula above gets me pretty close to where I need to be. And it's a good way of uh, checking my work to make sure that I didn't make a mistake in the formula itself. So hopefully that helps. Dopamine isn't as intimidating as it seems to be. You just gotta make sure you have all of the components of the problem to put together to come up with the answer. If you got any more ideas, any more drug problems that you'd like us to work out, please feel free to DM us and we'd be happy to do so.